Let's find what number is 42% of 80. We're starting to look at percent problems and you may have been taught to solve percent problems by equations, you may have been taught by proportions, you may have been taught by both. I will first solve this using an equation. Next, I'll solve it using a proportion, which is of course an equation also, but by a proportion. So if you learned by proportions, simply fast forward to where I solved this problem a second time. Let's now find what number is 42% of 80, and we'll do that by a direct translation equation here. What number, we'll let that be our unknown, is, means equals, 42% of, means multiplication here, 80. And there is our equation. Notice this equation is already solved for x. I'll write 42% as an equivalent decimal, and that's 42 hundredths times 80. If you simply multiply these two numbers, you'll have 33 and 6 tenths. So what number is 42% of 80? It is 33 and 6 tenths. Let's now solve this using a proportion. Amount is to base as percent is to 100, and let's fill in the values for our proportion. Remember percent, that would be the percent, 42%. I'll write down 42. I still have the 100. Base, remember, normally appears after the word of, so of 80. Our base is 80, and we're looking for the amount. I'll call that then A. And let's solve by cross products. A times 100, that is 100. A is equal to 42 times 80, that will be 3,360. And then I'll solve for A by dividing both sides by the coefficient of A, which is 100. And notice what happens then. I have 1A, or simply A, is equal to, if you divide by 100, you move the decimal point two places to the left, 33 and 6 tenths. That is your unknown amount.